Right, here we go, the next grand tour, Li the Liquid City Pro Tour. This is a rather simple one. Uh, obviously, to start with, we've got Bike Out, do Bike Out 4. Just do it. Bike Out 4. Go there. Do that. Easy. There you go. Right, yeah, next one uh, is one we talked about in, by, uh, in what's it called? F bloody thingy. Um, in episode five so you see here where it says enemy descender or the enemy office or whatever your office is will be whatever oh it says 69 that's very funny you know the sex number that's funny that one um you just probably shouldn't have said that so early in the video you know goodbye my money whatever but yeah um you need to get this one here where it says enemy descender or a boreal descender or whatever whatever your one is it won't say descender yet i'm guessing because you still have to do this one you have to get this to say enemy master or whatever uh you have to get it to say master instead of pro or semi-pro or whatever it is novice or something and the daily sponsor tasks are ones that you get all the time. Uh, you just have to complete those. If you go to your office, there will be tasks here. I've finished them all, so there isn't any tasks. But yeah, um, it's a big part of the game that no one really plays, to be honest. I, I played it a lot, but you know, it's whatever. But yeah, simple as that. Just literally fulfill this and get that to say master, and then you unlock the thing. It's about as simple as that. Right, so long career plus this one here so long career plus uh this is rather rather simple literally you just beat the glaciers do the glaciers boss jump i know it's a, a tough one because the boss jump is so weird you just jump up off a massive wall i'll show you what you have to do right yeah um i'm just gonna do this because uh I just want to give you reference for what sort of speed you might need to be going. It is random. Sometimes uh, the boss jump spawns you don't need enough speed, uh, uh, as much speed as I might do there. Well, that was really great. Showing off my skills there of absolutely ruining that stunt. It's a weird little stunt, this one. Yeah, sorry. Around here, for some reason, I really enjoy doing stoppies everywhere. It's really simple, and it's also really nice to pivot on your front wheel. Um, but yeah, you ha all you have to do is come to this boss jump. This boss jump is just a massive ass wall. Uh, that's all it is. It's just a big wall. I don't know what they were thinking for this boss jump, but it works and it's kind of cool. Um, as you can see the little flares in the distance, you've got this, which is just a stunt in the way. Go around this corner. All right, here we go. The big, big drop that we have to do. Oh, this is rather a small one. Usually it's a lot bigger. Okay, so I'm going 90 or something kilometers an hour and I didn't make it. See, it is very random whether it decides it wants to work or whether it doesn't. You might need to pump a bit more. You also might need to uh, moon jump. Okay, I've got a good pump there. Okay. Oh, it is a pretty tough one because most of the time you just don't get given enough speed to do it. It's a weird one that it does that, but it's definitely a thing that you have to do. Right, here we go. Speed around 91. Okay. 91 when I left the of the ramp and what you want to do when you're like landing there because most of the time you don't make it to the flat you make it on the edge is just hold up on the on the right stick and it makes it more likely that you'll survive but that is how you do that one I just wanted to clear that one up because it's just a boss jump one that's rather tough and sometimes you don't get it all right this next one is going to be tough for quite a lot of people it's volcano not a vol can't what the fuck can't I? okay yeah never mind uh, yeah, it's Volcano, not Volcanto. Uh, this is... It is simple in theory, but it's not simple in execution. You need to go to the Highlands, get the Fire Node, go through the Fire Ring. You have to actually go through every single ring. I made a video on it. Uh, I'll show you on screen now how to get to the Volcano. I made this a very long time ago. Um, but yeah, that is how you do that. You need to go through the Fire Ring on every single boss jump from the highlands all the way to the peaks and you need to get the fire node every time to get the firing to spawn um, and then all you have to do is go through that final one on the peaks and you'll know that you've triggered it because the little bridge that goes to the finish line on the peaks that uh, if you've been to the peaks you obviously know what i mean uh, it will set on fire um, it's a little effect that happens you'll do that and then you'll be able to process uh, progress to the volcano and then just make it to the boss jump and finish I think if you die in the volcano it doesn't matter anyway because you still made it there anyway so it's rather simple place top 10 in the day on the daily challenge right 
uh, this is where your rep farming skills have to come into play. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's rather easy. Let's go to our standings and leaderboards of all teams. Uh, daily challenge today. So, the top person has got 150k rep. This is a pretty simple one to do. So, you, what you would want to aim for is get about 50k rep and you'll be above top 10. And then what happens is, once you do that, uh, you get put on this leaderboard. So, all those names that you see on here, um, there's all people that have done it and yeah, that's all you have to do is get on this leaderboard and it might take a while, you'll probably want to go from the highlands to the peaks um, and get 50k rep or something similar and then you'll get up on that leaderboard. It, it does take a while unfortunately and you m really want to be making sure that you're getting as many points as you can otherwise you'll just be falling massively behind honestly. Right, shipwrecked. I know exactly what this one is and someone asked me about it the other day. Uh, what you want to do is go to ride and then bike parks and then scroll all the way down to Descenders Island which I went past, I know I did. I'm gonna put the a uh, little controller cam on because a lot of people for some reason struggle with this first set of jumps um, All you need to do is legitimately just moon jump this and you might almost hit the sign uh, For this one because it's for shipwreck. Do you want to go this way? Just follow the red trail. I mean these jumps are sometimes hard But I mean if you're not riding on the enduro they're always going to be a bit harder because you don't need to moon jump everything but if sure as hell helps, that's words. Yeah, it helps. It very much helps. You want to come around this way. You don't actually have to follow the trail. You can cut it across if you really want to. But this is just the way if you're going to ride it like a regular person. Uh, make it over this little thing. This is a really nice map, honestly. It just looks so cool. And it's very nicely themed. And it rides really well for a map that is just like got a theme to it. Because sometimes when you make themed maps, they don't really ride that well because you're trying to fit in theming rather than uh, making sure it rides nice. But this one rides very nice. Uh, we've got these two that didn't make it. Noobs, why are you not watching my channel and learning how to jump? I mean, I did make a video on this called How to Jump and it's uh, at Descenders Island because a lot of people struggled with it. Um, but yeah, it's just up here. So you want to climb all the way to the top of here and then go down this little ramp hop onto the boat as you can tell it's this is why it's called shipwrecked and then you just want to hop off over here and you get the you get it done that's all you have to do it's rather as simple as that and uh, yeah right this next one here on get 250,000 rep right you can do this of two ways one you probably should already have 250,000 rep because that's a rather low number to get especially if you're playing casually and you've sort of gone for items i mean if you're one of those people that don't play for items and just place the bike parks you will have like zero rep i bet um because bike park rep does not count for anything whatsoever um but yeah 250,000 rep if you've ever tried going for a lux bike and you've done it properly um and you've gone for 250,000 rep you probably have 250,000 rep done already um yeah it's a rather simple one get 250,000 rep as your total rep in the left hand corner down here behind the controller sorry yeah, here, down here. This, get that to say 250,000. It doesn't mean you'll get a luck spike, I'll have you know. But um, uh, having this total rep say 250,000 gets this one done. And then the last one, unlock shortcut to glaciers. That's rather simple. I say it's simple, it's really not, because I hate the boss jump for this. Um, so you want to go ride um, and then career plus session and go to favela. Right, uh, build track for these ends. I can't stand this fucking boss jump. It does my head in. It is so random whether it decides that when it spawns it wants to work um, and you need ludicrous amounts of speed to get it. And if you don't have ludicrous amounts of speed, you're just gonna die. And it's always hard because he's standing right in the way. His head is massive and if you land on his head, don't try and jump off the other end, because it still won't work. Right, I'm going 75, 78, 79. I might actually need all this speed, because he's so bloody huge. But there we go, we got it first try. Sometimes it spawns and it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't, and you will land on his arm, or you'll land on his face, or you'll land in his goggles. Just make sure when you're trying this, um, and you'll have to be trying this in career, don't do it in free ride, because it won't unlock anything. Um, when you're trying this, make sure if you're going to bail, hit him first so you only lose one life rather than missing completely and then you lose like two lives because that's just going to cut down your lives a lot more massively. But yeah, 
um, that is it. That is all of the ones for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for my members. Mr. Neil Stu Frisbee. He's not even named Mr. Neil Stu. He's just Mil- Neil Stu, but I call him that. Um, Price Green and Harry VFX. Thank you very much for being members. If you'd like to be a member, the join button is next to the subscribe button. It does cost you a little bit of money, but it supports the channel and uh, keeps me doing what I'm doing. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more of this stuff, and I'll see you a lot later. Goodbye. <laughs>